Hello, I'm Kenara. I'm at Rob Opening. Now, I'd like to be telling you an amazing folklore from Central Java. You will regret listening. The Legend of Frawa Pening. Long ago, at the foot of Mount Alamoyo in Central Java, there lived Ki Hajar Salakantara and his beautiful wife, Indong Sawitri. One day, Indong Sawitri gave birth to a mystical serpent child covered in scales, whom they named Baru Quinting. Baru Quinting, a serpent with immense spiritual power, symbolized the union of the earth and water spirits. Despite his form, he could speak and think like a human. Kihajar Salakantara understood that Baru Quinting's destiny was tied to the land, but he needed to prove himself. He called his son and said, To understand your power and purpose, you must undergo a test. Go to the forest and meditate until the earth speaks to you. Baru Quinting obeyed coiling around the mountain and meditating for months. As his body merged with the earth, Baro Quinting sensed the pain and suffering of the world in his silence. Meanwhile, in a nearby village, people were celebrating their harvest. Prosperity had made them arrogant and selfish, neglecting to give things to nature and disrespecting the forest creatures. One day, Baro Clinton, in the form of a boy, descended from the mountain. Exhausted and hungry after his long meditation, he approached the village and politely asked, May I have some food? I'm weak from my journey. The villagers laughed at Baro Clinton, mocking his appearance. Instead of offering food or shelter, they insulted him and drove him away, shouting, We don't help beggars like you. Go away, you're not welcome here. Heartbroken by the cruelty he faced, Baro Quinting felt anger rising within him. He warned the villagers, You are too arrogant. If you continue to disrespect others, you will suffer from the consequences. The villagers laughed even louder, but Baro Quinting, in turn on teaching them a lesson, planted a stick in the village tanta and declared, If you can pull it out, I will leave quietly. If not, disaster will come. The villagers, eager to prove their strength, took turns trying to pull the stick out. The strongest man of the village gave it a roll, but no one could budge it, not even an inch. Suddenly, the ground trembled, the sky darkened, water gushed from the spot where the stick was planted, turning in a massive flood. With a booming voice, Baro Clinton said, For your cruelty and arrogance, this elf will claim this land. What a gush from the spot where the stake was planted, turning into a massive flood that swept through the villages, creating what is now Rawapani, the clear swamp. Amidst the chaos, one kind woman secretly offered Baro Clinton food. He whispered to her, Climb the highest hill, you will be spared. She followed his advice and watched from the hill as the flood consumed the entire village, leaving behind a vast, peaceful lake. The legend of our opening remains a powerful reminder of nature's strengths and the importance of humility and kindness. The end. Thank you.